Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to use a single form to display information from two or more related tables within your database, using subforms is the way to accomplish that goal. With subforms, you can view the data from one table, the parent table, and any related data from a related table, the child table, in an embedded subform within the original form. So this can be an excellent way to create one main form that allows the user to edit information in multiple related tables. In forms that use subforms, the main or outer form displays table data that represents the one side of a one-to-many join between the tables. The linked subform will display table data that shows the many side of the relationship between the two tables. So you can display data in the subform in either form view, displaying one record at a time, or a datasheet view, which shows multiple records at a time. Using the datasheet view of the subform is common. You can add multiple subforms to a main form if needed, and you can also add subforms within other subforms. Now when you create subforms, you start by creating two separate forms, one for each table. You can then drag the icon of the subform from the navigation pane into the main form once it's displayed in design view, just as if the subform were a form control. So it's often better to create the subform first as then you can set the display properties for it and decide how large it will be. This way you can leave the appropriate amount of space within the main form for the embedded subform when you design that. Now after you've dragged the subform onto the main form in design view, you will see it displayed as an embedded subform control. You can change the properties of the subform by selecting the subform just as if it were a control within the main form. Also, if you double-click the selected subform, you can edit its properties in the proper sheet, Property Sheet panel as well. You can also simply edit either form in the Form Design view to make changes to the forms there as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.